Um, congrats to Atletico Madrid and Griezmann actually finally decided to show up in a final. Um, Atletico, they showed their superiority. And they were overall deserved winners. Now, it's time for me to now get into something very important. I think people are taking liberties in common at your boy Double H. And, I, and it's, it stops now. It stops now. It's 2018. It's, it stops now. Um, if Pyatt was still on the pitch, who knows what would have, ha have happened. Yes, Atletico went 1-0 ahead. And I think you look at Basse, they really were on the front foot. Before that goal, they were on the on the front foot and they were like, you know what, we're, we're looking to win the game, we're looking to win the game, and they were really trying to force force the issue. But, you know, um, you give a team like Atletico pretty much a gift of a goal because that was a horrible control. Griezmann was 1-1 one -one and it was, it, was, it was very simple for him to, to put, put it through. So, um, that's just madness. But I, just, I still feel like for, for Pyatt, he was the creative man. And I think the moment that Pyatt went off, Marseille had zero ideas. Because people were talking about how Sa, the right back for, for Marseille was like, he looked really impressive. But even then, it's like, nah, they it was good what he was doing, but you still needed a guy that really was the glue that held everything together. And I think once Pyatt went off, Koke now really ran the game because it was really Koke against Pyatt to see, you know, who would really be the man that would really turn things in midfield. But once Pyatt went off, Koke ran things. And I think Atletico just ramped up the quality because the thing about Atletico is that, look, man, Godin is a, is a, is a tier two to, to, to defender. Arguably tier one. There's a good case for him to be a tier one defender. I mean, because Godin, man, the guy, the guy can defend, man. I mean, the, like Atletico, they completely locked up. And I told you, one by year went through, I was looking at Marseille, it was not happening because you've got a dude called Germain. I don't know who this dude is. I don't know who he is. He's just some blonde guy from the, from, from the road. And if you're putting crosses in from deep to some blonde dude called Germain, really? You have no chance. And a lot of Atletico, look, man, you got to give it up for, 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 for Griezmann because I'm real. <clears throat> I said that if Griezmann did not show up in the final, I would in, induct him. And you can say the first goal was given to him. He still has to finish it. He still has to finish it because we have dudes like Alfonso Morata where you can give him an, an open goal and he's, he's going to miss that. So he started to score it. But that second G, man, I give it up. I give it up. That's, that was a superb finish because he waited, timed it, and the touch... The little touch and the slight dink, absolute, complete, total perfection, perfect, uh, per perfect technique. And I think you know Griezmann, he actually no, he already beyond the, he had, he had a a good game. But I think for those two goals, the first one latching onto the mistake and finishing it, and the second one a great finish, and um, coming in from the through ball from Koke, I believe, show show their quality. But I just think when you just looked at Atletico, I mean. It was the the difference in class was it was vast it was pretty vast because I think for Marseille they tried their best but just for Atletico it was I mean like it, they they could defend them in their sleep I mean Godin was literally de de defending in in his his dressing gown and slippers <laughs> you know Godin was was defending these these dudes in, in his sleep because it was flipping easy um, and you just saw that in midfield you know Gabi and thinking they held it down whenever Marseille had the ball they had men behind the ball they were in the right position at the right time and. Atletico never truly felt threatened. They never really felt threatened. And I think when they went forward, they went forward smart. And I just think how quickly they, they, they moved the ball. Everybody controlled the ball well. And there was just far more quality in Atletico's football than there was in Marseille's football. I think for Marseille, without fighting, I was like, I'm sorry, there's nobody I'm seeing here who, who can do anything. There's nobody here that who can do anything. So, all in all, man, look, man, well done to Atletico, man. I mean... They already qualified for the Champions League, but to because again, a trophy is a trophy, a trophy is a trophy. So it's always because at the beginning, guy was like, okay, I mean, what's, what's this reject trophy? But I think once they realized that, look, we're fully in it, you know, um, that was it. That, that, that was it, man. So well done to Atletico. Um, congrats. Hopefully, Pia isn't um, injured for the World Cup because that'll be a, a, a huge miss. And I think, you know, like, it's, it's great. And, I, and for Griezmann, it could be his last match. Um, and it is what it is because I think you know if you want to win major trophies, Champions League and league titles, I'm not sure whether Atletico can do that. Having to compete with the mites of Barcelona and Real Madrid, spending power, and again Atletico, they are bricks in the Champions League. But with regards to this, got to give it up for for Simeone and what they've done. Won a hundred percent. They were all in all, you would say they were the best team in the competition. Because I think even if you had 
um, Leipzig in there or Dortmund in there. I think Atletico would have still have beaten them. I think this is just a really good team, very perfectly balanced team, where they've got one of the best keepers in the world. I mean, look at that. They have one of the best keepers in the world. One of the best central defenders in the world. Um, they have a very good balanced mid mid midfield. They have, in my opinion, I'd say Costa's the best London striker in the world. And I think Griezmann, when he's on it, when he's on it, is arguably one of the best um, kind of like attacking midfield support strikers out there. When he's on it, Griezmann is very, very, very good. So, Atletico, congratulations, Marseille. Well done for making it to the final. But again, you have to. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.